Hello everyone, I'm Wesley Gamer with 290 and we're gonna start another playthrough. I know I was in the middle of doing Republic Commando and everything, but I wanted to kind of change it up. I used to on an old channel of mine that I used that I just stopped doing long ago. I started a Dark Souls playthrough, and now that three's out, I have to say I want to try to do all three so I don't know how that's gonna go so we'll see how it goes so we're gonna start with the classic the original Dark Souls prepare to die edition on PC so here we go guys <laughs> We'll just stick with the original people where we get the master key because we want those extra doors to be open. And... Oh no, I'm always the top three every now and then, so I'll be larger body. I'm not gonna go into any customization where you guys are just gonna fix stuff. So let's go ahead and start up Dark Souls 1. See. And I'll be quiet for this. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The Witch of Isolith and her Daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his Faithful Knights. And the furtive Pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of Lords, they challenge the dragons. Gwyn's mighty gods build apart their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death. Soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen 
carriers of the accursed dark side. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. Frame rate though. Oh my god. Holy crap, what is what I do apologize people. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. We got it fixed. Oh my god, that was that was a nightmare. I apologize. It's been a while since I played the PC version, and I guess it decided it's like, nope, fuck you. Okay, so, we're in the Undead Asylum, so let's see how this playthrough goes. It's already fun. <sighs> that is graphic problems. Fuck the master. thing y'all said, y'all do, everyone does say the PC port of one was bad. It, it kind of is. I'm still getting used to it. And you can just skip this guy real fast. You just go over here and easily get rid of that fight. I'm not even going to light that bonfire because no point. You gotta grab a shield. So. Oh! It's been a while since I played Dark Souls 1. I've been playing three. I had did play three. I did beat it. And I'm gonna say, I have only completed one, two, one, and three. I have never completed Dark Souls two. So hopefully, I'll be able to record that for y'all. Because fuck these guys. Talk to Oscar Stora. Oh, you. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Yeah, why not? Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. 
Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Thanks, buddy. Oh, and this. Thanks, buddy. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now, and thank you. Okay, so that was an Oscar. He was the one that set us free, and apparently he must have had a 1v1 with the Asylum Demon and got knocked over. Asylum demon, we're gonna choke this guy before we go. Incoming! It is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. Ah! To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lordra. iconic area in the game. Well, Dark Souls series. Firelink Stride. Go ahead and damn it. Go ahead and rest here. We're gonna go for a uh, kind of strengthy build. I want to be able to want to play more. I want to try to use play more of this whole playthrough. If I remember where to get it. Oh yeah, now I remember where to get it. But first, we need to make a trip to our... Ooh, almost forgot to grab it. You're gonna need that, but if you're wondering why I'm stripping down, I will find out here in a second. I do want this. 
in there real fast. Circling on around about here. Hello, old friend. I missed you. A little tribute to Sync Free from Soul Calibur. Oh, they're right on my ass, ain't they? Oh, shit. Oh shit, should not have went this way! Woohoo! Hey hey, someone killed himself. Okay. Okay, now that we got our home of bones and some souls and our spy in the... Now we're gonna go grab what I want. Go grab a... Fire keep your soul. Oh man, I just remember the flat frame rate drop in this place. And there it goes. It's just like Perfect, beautiful, and then it's just like, no. I'm not trying to bash the game, but golly, this is even in the Xbox 360 the PS3 versions of this game. It's just like this. Especially Light Town. Oh god, camera, don't fuck me. camera almost screwed me there for a second, it almost threw me off the cliff. Okay, so, now that we got our fire keeper soul, we can go back to that. We'll talk to the fire keeper right here. And reinforce our fire keeper. Fire, est yeah. estes blast, there we go. In English today. Oh wait, here it goes. That way y'all know what's going on. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below, in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both, and something happens. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on, but I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead? <laughs> Okay, I forgot his official name. I think it's like Chris Fallen Knight or something like that. But he's nothing important. So. It's all. Oh, hi. Wesley, why didn't you parry that? I don't know. Just in case. The oh, fuck? There we go. Nope. Probably get to the first bonfire, then I'll 
I do miss this game a lot. I really do. Because I couldn't tell you how many times I ran through this game just to play every class. Dark Souls 2, eh, I only played through it once and could never get it. Just never bothered to beat it. And 3, just. Oh my god, I'm still. I'm, I beat it. I finally killed all the bosses on my first playthrough. I'm about to start the game plus. I'm on fire. But. I'm constantly keep making new characters. I don't know why. Let's put back on my gear. Because I know you're tired of getting. You're getting tired of looking at my dick so. Hey, at least I kept it decent. At least I kept my pants on. Woohoo! Fuck you, buddy. Play mind games with you. Oh crap, I am online, ain't I? Take them out. Efficiently. And fuck. Jesus, those guys are going nuts up there. Oh, oh shit. Oh. oh shit. I have never seen them do that many jumping attacks. What the fuck? Oh shit! Oh shit! Thank God. Fuck them. Okay, good. I didn't need the key. I just need the master key. I came over here because I want this. Very essential for what we're about to do. There is a black knight down there. I'm not gonna do it right now. I'll probably come back here next video. Piece of shit! Right now, I just wanna get that Taurus demon dead. Kill the first boss and then it's very it's actually kind of funny in a way playing three and then going back to this game and you're just like man the soul series really came a long way from dark souls one well, also, demon, definitely Demon Souls. I've never played Demon Souls, though, so. I have seen people play it. Shout out to Epic Man Pro, but. I have seen people play Demon Souls. I've seen bosses and everything. I I praise them. I praise that game. Same thing with Bloodborne. Never don't have a PlayStation, so I can't play Bloodborne. So, sadly, I did miss out on those two titles. And the fucking lizard! Die! What? You piece of 
piece of shit. You piece of shit. Ooh, large Dite Knight shards. Guys, real fast because they're essential. To what I can do. And it's gonna jump back down. Gonna lighten up this weapon. And now, towards the demon. Come on, boy. Come on. I missed your buddy. And your sweet ass music. early in the game are very very weak to light so keep that in mind whenever you start playing this game I think it's on sale I think it's on Steam for 20 bucks I think it was it used to be 30 when it first came out now it's 20 so it does come with the Artorias of the best DLC PC you want to pass that which amazing DLC let's just fight our good friend Artorias and introduces one of the best NPCs that I like even though he's an invader Oh yeah. So shh. there he is. Best character of the whole Souls franchise. Raising that motherfucking son. that introduced Jolly Cooperation. Praise the Sun. The Praise the Sun pose. The leaf on his shoulders. The sunlight bra. Soler. Ah, hello. You don't look hollow, far from it. I am Soler of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. Do you find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> it's not, we're not done with you yet, Solaire. Oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. Yes, we do have a The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? Hell yeah! This pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. Gave us a soapstone. Co-op unlocked. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this. But I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> Keep staring at the sun, so Larry, you'll go blind. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is the beginning of Dark Souls 1 playthrough. I hope you have you guys have a wonderful evening. I am Wesley, Gerald290. You have a great day, guys. See y'all later. Bye.